Hello everyone, this is Stefan. Welcome to my channel, Lush and Salty Aquariums. Today we're going to look at my jar aquarium, which houses a robust colony of least killifish. I'm going to talk to you about them and jar aquariums in general. Jar aquariums obviously are fish systems, fish tanks, that are created in vases and jars and there's a whole subset of people who really are into this but it's a great way to start into the hobby as well as augment your current hobby as I do. I've got tanks all over the place in my office but the jar tank sits right by my reading section on this lovely table and it's pretty awesome so let's look at it. As I said, its primary inhabitants are the least killifish. They only give birth to one fry a day or evening, but they do a lot of it because I have a bunch of these fish and I can't give them away or move them to other tanks fast enough. If you want some and you're in the Bay Area, I'll hook you up, just find me and we'll work something out. They uh, are great because they really love small spaces, or I should say they, I don't know that they love it, but they do well in small spaces. So something like this system is obviously working for them because they look great, they're healthy, and they're reproducing. There's a red ram's horn snail. I love the red variety versus the brown. And I, I, I really dig Jar aquariums are fun, they're easy, they're inexpensive. You just need a receptacle like this, which I got at the container store, and then some house plants that you can sort of set into a substrate of your choice. This is sand and some aquarium gravel. It's that simple. I put a little fertilizer in, but you really don't need much in a jar, and you want to be careful not to overdo uh, fertilizers for obvious reasons you have such a small space now like all of my tanks I'm big on tons of plant life and especially in these small systems you're gonna want as much as possible because they are going to be your filter I do not run a filter in this tank or jar I do have an air stone which creates bubbles and oxygenates the water but the plants are what really do the filtering both the top water plants with their roots that hang down and the emerged plants which create root systems like you see here which go into the substrate and pull that fish waste that all these killifish are creating and feed themselves and the cycle goes unimpeded. I've got a colony of crypt parva, that's the smallest variant of the cryptocarn plant and crypts are among my favorites. They don't need a lot of light. None of the plants in this system need a lot of light. Obviously the emerged plants will appreciate it, but as you know from uh, house plants or the plants you see in office buildings, they can handle or tolerate any number or combinations of compromised light but more is always better. And if you have tons of plants, you won't get algae, so light is good. Don't worry about it. I've got guppy grass, which is in the midsection of the water column. That's that kind of lovely set of tendrils that's just everywhere, uh, betwixt and between the fish go, and that's why people like this plant, because baby fish can find some security in there, but it does not impede your view into the aquarium in general and it grows like a weed. It probably is a weed. I've got a couple stems of, I think this is called Indian paintbrush or feather or something like that. But I had one cutting and I've just been snipping it over the weeks and putting it in all my tanks and it just sort of grows up and around and you can wrap that thing around your light. Um, this is it if I'm not if I haven't made it crystal clear, it's kind of a little bit lost in there. I beg your pardon. But pothos, just take a cutting from mom's house plant, stick it in your pocket, and stick that cutting in a glass of water, and you're kind of good to go. That's what I did here, essentially. 
everything's doing really well and the overall effect of a jar aquarium creates a really really neat thing to have when you're reading a book or you're on your laptop you just can look up from that and have this thing right by your side as I said easy inexpensive fun the mistakes are not cataclysmic you just tweak and adjust and water changes, all that stuff is super easy because it's super small. If you have any questions or you want some of those killifish, just hit me up. And as always, keep your hands in the tank. I hope you like the video. Ciao for now.